thought we would do a Reiki treatment today. So just get yourself comfortable. Relax, relax. Just feel my hands on your shoulders as I link in with your energy. And as you get settled, I want you to take a couple of breaths. And each time you blow out, just feel the stresses dropping off you and being blown away. Now I'm going to place this beautiful rose quartz underneath you here, directly underneath your heart. That's it. Relax. Relax. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Relax. And relax. So I'm just going to put some oil on my hands. And these are from the Pure Perfume Company. And I thought we would use the root chakra one today. Really getting you grounded and present in this moment. So these are beautiful oils and you're going to see me using these a lot because they are so wonderful. And this is the base. So it has red jasper chips, vetriva, which is good for stopping your headaches. Black spruce, patchouli, lime, and myrrh. And a little bit of orange. So whilst you're just starting to relax, I'm gonna put these on my hands. Oh, that is very grounding. So just breathe in that deep woody fragrance of the vetriva and the patchouli. Breathing out again all of that stress and anxiety that you breathed at the beginning. There's always more to come out. I'm just going to use the singing bowl on you just to clear. We're really concentrating on grounding and clearing today. Just letting the vibrations wash over you. Relax you. And bring peace to you. Always striving for peace, healing and tranquility. Opening the holes in your feet and growing those roots down into the ground below you. Down, down and down they grow. Giving you a good foundation 
from which to work from. cleansing we'll just brush you down with the selenite hopefully giving you some tingles as it moves down your body and elevating your consciousness and I'm going to invite my guides and helpers one more and after I've protected you which we'll do in a second we'll invite yours in Relaxing those fingers and relaxing those toes. And I'm just going to put those down there and you can rest your hands over them like that or on them, whatever you like. And then I'd like you just to imagine a spinning disc of light and love moving down from source, whatever you call source and enveloping you in a layer of love and light. It moves around you. It moves through you and within you, helping to cleanse and clear at the same time. Finally, before we start the treatment, I'm going to start with this Shungite pyramid, cleansing and grounding you, moving all the way over your chakra system. And we're going to place that at your feet. And we'll probably place that like this so that it draws its en the energies into it. And then starting at the feet, we're going to elevate you with a crystal quartz pyramid. So moving it up your center line, the chakra line, or the Tai Chi pole depending on your system. And just feel that now, elevating your consciousness as I lift it up over your head and place it on the bed above your crown. And breathe out again, okay. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. And nobody needs anything from you at this moment. And I'm going to start at your feet. We're going to work up the body today, a different way to how I often work in these videos. So I'm just placing my hands over your feet. Starting at your toes, consciously relax them, even that little one 
just mentally relax them. Okay, so I'm going to draw the master symbol all the way down you. Daikumio. 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 That will overlight anything that no longer serves you, that will seek out whatever it needs to repair. Because Reiki is classed as an intelligent energy. So just think of the soles of your feet now. And I'm just rotating my hands just to open the holes in the bottom of your feet. And you can imagine any energy draining out of them and into the ground through your root system. And this Shungite pyramid will also catch anything. So let's now invite your guides, angels and helpers in and ask them to surround you. I just felt an energy shift then. You may have felt it as well, but don't worry if you don't feel it. Just trust that it works. And I can sense two of my guides here. One I call the Taiji Doctor, and the other is my Druid. I don't actually say their names very often because we keep those to ourselves. And I've also got a sense of Archangel Raphael moving in. So I think what I'll do is I'll just walk over and get another crystal, which is Archangel Raphael's. And this will work wonderfully in conjunction with the rose quartz underneath you. So I'm just going to move that down and I'm going to place it underneath at your sacral area. So we've got the rose quartz under your heart about here and we've got the green calcite underneath your sacral, okay. So I'm just gonna place my hands now on your ankles. I'm gonna grip them gently and tell you just to relax the joints there. Relax, relax. Perhaps if they are stiff, you might want to rotate them. Good exercise to do. Rotate them one way, then rotate them the other way. I'm going to draw a grounding symbol into them from the Egyptian Reiki Sacrum, and it is called Mara. The chokka rays either side that we use in sacrum and this is for grounding and abundance okay oh I can really smell that lovely oil from the pure perfume company beautiful patchouli and vetriva myrrh citrus and lime, all wonderful things that grow out of the earth. And they say that if there is a fragrance of oil that you do not like, that that is the one you need. A bit like those shadow totems, those animals that come in that freak us out a little bit. Mine is spiders. So what have I got to learn from the spider? 
So perhaps instead of fighting against something, especially spiritual, work with it. What can it teach you? Bring it into the foundation. Because working on the things we don't like within us will set the chain reaction for better pathways and better choices for the future. Okay. Pulling any pain out of the ankles if you've got stiff joints. And then pushing white light directly into the joint area, making rain with my fingers, that's what I call it. And then moving up, just hovering about an inch or so above your shins. Sending in white light and replenishing energy to soothe any tired, aching muscles, any bone ache. Help regenerate the skin and the flesh and the muscles and sinew, the blood vessels. And then I'm just going to pause above the knee. And I'm going to pull any of that stiffness and pain out. I'm going to reach under the table, so I'm going to place one hand above and reach into the back. Pull anything out, the back of each knee, and then just hold the energy there for a little bit. Again, helping with the joints, the aches, the stiffness, or any breaks. Asking for the fluid to be plumped up within the knee joint itself so that there's no rubbing and wearing away of the bone. And I'm going to draw a choke array into both of those knees. Striving for peace, healing and tranquility, relaxing those knees, bending them up a little bit if you need to, and then I'll move up the thighs in the same manner, about an inch within the aura. up to the crease, along the sides, sending in that white replenishing light to seek out anything that is imbalanced, and restore harmony within you. So I've now got a hand over each thigh crease, the joint below your hips, sending in that white replenishing energy, drawing a choker ray 
for freedom of movement. Breathe out for me. Great. Whilst we're here, we'll just work on that root chakra. We've got this beautiful root chakra oil in our hands, remember? And I'm just going to take a smoky quartz point. I'm going to hold it over the root and I'm actually going to spiral the energy right out of your aura. And again, just thinking of those things that make you worry your job, your bills, your housing, just let it go, let the crystal take it away, because this is your survival centre. Perhaps it affects your digestion, a lot of us in the West have IBS, irritable bowel, and anxiety causes it to fluctuate. So really getting rid of that worry and anxiety, putting it in the hands of God, angels, whatever you choose. And now I'm just going to fill that up with beautiful, vibrant red light. Deep, deep red of that red jasper. The colour of those chips that are in beautiful oil. Just absorb that into your root now. Maybe it's the colour of the earth where you live. Maybe you've got some pants that are that colour that you can wear. If you don't have the stones or the crystals, wearing the colours also helps. I'm going to just draw that chokere on there as well to activate that and protect it. So I'm just placing a hand just over the pubic bone there, just above, to steady the energy whilst we move up to the sacral. So again, with this, just going to spiral in an anti-clockwise rotation the emotional worries, the emotional hurt that you may be suffering. Letting go of the worry, letting go of the hurt to make way for new, more fulfilling emotions. seem to have moved straight out, right out in the aura. So this is possibly things that you've been holding on to for a while. If it was something yesterday, my hands would be here, but they're out here. So I'm just going to gently sweep away as well. Don't follow the thought if you know what it is. Just recognize it and move on tomorrow or today is another day tomorrow is another day and then I'm going to imagine beautiful vibrant orange light 
Ah, now it's letting me come closer. Breathe out for me. And relax. So I'm just going to place a hand on each hip, bounce the energy between them, great, we've cleared that. So then I'll imagine it looping into an infinity symbol, which is a figure eight horizontal. Just imagine that gold vibrant light whizzing around your pelvis making sure everything is in good working order. Okay, breathing out again. Now I'll move my hand to above the sacral and start working on the solar plexus. I'm gonna draw the say hey key here. Push that in. I'll draw that into the screen as well. Say hey, chi. Say hey, chi. Say hey, chi. A little bit of clearing. And the smoky quartz. Rotating out any tiredness, any apathy. And if you're a bit of a sloth like me at the moment, that laziness, that, oh, I can't be bothered feeling. And if it's, if you are someone who struggles with an autoimmune disorder, which makes you feel tired, perhaps MS, fibromyalgia, the excessive tiredness, illness, I can't think what it's called at the moment. Let's pull that out of you as well. Giving it to the smoky quartz, very powerful cleanser smoky quartz. And then we're gonna spiral energy back in and I'm coming out far but I'm moving my hand steadily to just above your body and I'm placing my hands in a pyramid shape to amplify that energy. And just imagine bright yellow vibrant light asking the angels to give you strength to get through the day give you the energy you need for a certain task, giving you power, giving you confidence, giving you courage. And I'm gonna draw a courage symbol into you now from the Reiki Sacrum. I'll draw it on screen and down you. And it is a cross with an S along the arms. Double choke array to activate that. And a double choke array here. Breathe out again and just let that settle in, giving you vitality, giving you courage, giving you strength, giving you confidence. And then I'm just going to draw a single choker ray over that energy center to protect it. Okay. Now I'll shuffle up to the heart. Remember, we've got this beautiful rose quartz, natural pyramid, I call it, underneath you, sending energy of love up. Okay. So again, smoky quartz, spiraling in an anti-clockwise manner, 
the hurt, the heartache that you have suffered and that also that you have caused. Perhaps it's a good time now to try and forgive any transgressions that have happened towards you. Or send love out to those that you committed transmission. Uh, I can't mind getting my words muddled up. Anything that you did that was unkind to the others. Perhaps quickly asking for forgiveness if you can. And sending love out. draw in a distance healing symbol and as we seem to be using sacrum today I'm going to draw in the zonar which is a Z with an infinity symbol across its middle pushing that in they're stopping me coming any lower so we're working probably something that happened five ten years ago in your auric field maybe even further. So I'm just going to reach in and pull out a large chunk of chi that has built up. Release it, release it, release it. You do not need this baggage anymore. I'm just going to use this and this is quartz with tourmaline sort of chips in it and just imagine those black bits catching onto the remainder of what is in there and I'll spiral that out so the black bits they cut it and then we pull it with this crystal I'm going to draw a symbol for love, self-love, called hearth. And it looks like a pyramid with a crystal. Uh, sorry, with a cross on top and three Christmas baubles at the feet. Then activate that with a choke ray. And then imagining beautiful green and pink vibrant energy and Reiki. Coming back in to fill those spaces, fill those little nicks in the areas where you have ties to other people. As I mentioned that, I'll just take this amethyst wand and we'll seal, we'll cauterize those ties. Cauterizing. I'm just going to place a hand on your heart and reach underneath and cauterize, cut and cauterize any at the back. Okay, and then we'll ask Archangel Raphael to assist with that. I'm just going to place this beautiful smooth I call it a prism I'm not sure of the word on top of the heart just to keep cleansing for the remainder of the treatment there okay and I'm going to draw in the courage symbol again here because it takes courage to face heart issues doesn't it 
so courage. So gray. And then let's seal that in. And these rings are abalone. And abalone promotes forgiveness, whether it's forgiveness of yourself or forgiveness of others. Okay, great, they're letting me move my hand in closer, so we've worked on that now. So now, up to the throat. And mine's cracking, as you can hear, as we get here, which means I need a little bit of this too. And we take the quartz. And I'm just spiraling out anything that hasn't been said that you need to, any blockages anywhere. And those who have studied Druidry will realize I'm doing this in the shape of the Ahwen, the Nuefri, that helps us with expression and bardistry. Just sweep away any of that stale energy that is hanging around. And I'm going to move in underneath and do the same at the back. Just feel me tugging now at the back of your neck. And then holding my hands and sending Reiki out into that beautiful, vibrant, sky blue light. Moving out in the aura now as we move upwards. Okay, seal that at the back with a choke array underneath you. And another choke array. Just imagine my hands around your collarbone, like that. And I'm actually going to put them on you. Just letting you feel gentle pressure. Steadiness, comfort, peace. And I just feel moved to tell you all that you are loved, even if you do not feel it. Your ancestors and your angels in particular want you to know that night now. And I feel that some of them may move in and just stroke your cheek. You may feel that loving message from your angel, from your guardian angel. So I'm going to just work on your shoulders and arms quickly. Let's move that out of the way. So I'm just splitting from the throat. Pulling out anything from the shoulder joints. Relax your shoulders as I get here. Consciously drop them. We hold a lot of energy in our shoulders. I'm going to draw the Sele key clearing any pain, clearing any stiffness, any frozen shoulders, anything like that. And then I'm just going to sweep it down and out of your hand chakras. Sweeping it down and out of your hand chakras. And also you're holding these pieces of selenite which is cleansing. Sweeping it down and out of your chakras at your hands. Okay, so I'm now going to place my hands on your shoulders again. So just slightly wider from around your collarbone. Breathe out for me. And 
and let's replenish the energy. Let's draw a choke away into the shoulders, the balls, the socket, the sinew, any meridians that cross there, the veins. We're going to replenish, ask the cells to replenish and the Reiki to fix anything, balance anything that doesn't feel right. And then again, I'm just going to move down your arms about an inch away. Just replenishing anything that needs fixing. I'm going to pause at the elbows. Relax your elbows, soften them. Draw the choke array in there. Then I'm just going to cup them, just holding those joints, sending in Reiki from the underneath of the elbow joint. Asking for the plumpness, the cushioning to remain within the joint. And then move down your forearms. To hover over the wrists. Breathe out. Relax those wrists for me. Sending that replenishing energy into the wrist joints. As I now move over your hands, just relax the fingers for me gently. Peace, healing, tranquility and freedom of movement. And let those creative ideas flow out of them. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna place just a hand on your chest. I'm gonna work at your third eye. And this ring also cleanses third eyes as well. It's a cleanse and you've seen me wave shells around. So we're just clearing any blockages out of the third eye, anything that is stopping you. Use your senses in a clear way clearing any confusion so that you can use your discernment carefully thinking about all of the options and I'm actually going to use a crystal point spiral the energy back in. Energy from the source, energy from your guides, energy from your angels. Help you get your messages a bit better. You don't have to hear them speaking. I don't hear them speaking. I just know they are speaking. So your knowledge, your knowing can come from them. So just channeling deep blue vibrant energy in now. Pushing it down into the third eye. And incidentally, if you have headaches, it means you're not grounding. So try grounding first before you reach for those tablets. And the oil on my hands that we're using is good for grounding. Vetriva sorts most of my headaches out immediately. Okay. And a choke array on that to protect it. 
and then we move up to the crown and I'm going to just place a hand above your third eye and work at the crown off screen so behind the camera and I'm going to pick this up again and I'm going to spiral it in the same manner in an anti-clockwise rotating motion just to clear any dusty chi, as I call it, or stale chi, plasma, some people call it, off the crown, so that you can get your messages from that divine light, from your guides, just a bit better. I'm gonna pull as well. Then I'm going to take this crystal again, hold it down and spiral the energy in. So off screen, in the opposite manner to how I took the energy out, we're rotating it back in and I'm moving the crystal down to the top of your head and angling it right down your crown. I'm going to lift this hand up a little bit and you may be able to feel energy going right the way down your Taiji pole and out of your feet. We're just making sure that the Taiji pole where the spinal cord resides has clear channels so that everything, every neuron, every nerve ending, whatever, can carry those messages to your limbs and your mind. Okay, so I'm now just drawing a choke ray above your crown and pushing that in right now to ramp it up a little but also to protect it. Okay, so I'm just going to Sweep down the body just to make sure that everything feels okay. If it doesn't, if you feel like something is a bit swollen perhaps, racing a bit fast, as I just hold my hands here, just consciously say Sarah is adapting this now. Sarah is adapting this now. Sarah is adapting this now. And I'll ask your angels, your guides, to also help with that. You may feel things happen now in your body, but it is all right not to. And we ask for peace, healing, and tranquility. So before we finish, going to take all of these crystals away from you. And at the same time, just grab the pyramid from behind you. Okay, we're going to just draw these together right up your Taiji pole, yin and yang pyramids, we're just going to rotate them at your heart and then I'm going to move them out of your aura. Placing my hands on your shoulders. And imagine those tree roots growing out of them and down your body, down past your hips and knees, and down through your feet into the ground below you. Breathe out for me. Sleep well or enjoy your day. Bye-bye.